prayer requires more of the heart than of the tongue. To be filled with God is a great thing. To be filled with the fullness of God is still greater. To be filled with all the fullness of God is greatest of all. The Bible is proved to be a revelation from God by the reasonableness and holiness of its precepts, all its commands, exhortations, and promises having the most direct tendency to make men wise, holy, and happy in themselves, and useful to one another. If you be faithful, you will have that honor that comes from God, his spirit will say in your hearts, Well done, good and faithful servants. Whether the family of the Clarks were of Norman extraction cannot be easily ascertained. Whether the family of the Clarks were of Norman extraction cannot be easily ascertained. To suppose more than one supreme source of infinite wisdom, power, and all perfections, is to assert that there is no supreme being in existence. He who is completely sanctified, or cleansed from all sin, and dies in this state, is fit for glory. Now it would be as absurd to deny the existence of God, because we cannot see him, as it would be to deny the existence of the air or wind, because we cannot see it. Now an infinite happiness cannot be purchased by any price less than that which is infinite in value and infinity of merit can only result from a nature that is infinitely divine or perfect. The scriptures of the Old and New Testament, said an eminent scholar, have God for their author, the salvation of mankind for their end, and truth without any mixture of error for their matter. Deeply consider that it is your duty and interest to read the Holy Scriptures. The words contained in it were inspired by the Holy Spirit into the minds of faithful men, called prophets and seers in the Old Testament, and evangelists and apostles in the New. Even papists could not see that a moral evil was detained in the soul through its physical connection with the body, and that it required the dissolution of this physical connection before the moral contagion could be removed. Many talk much, and indeed well, of what Christ has done for us, but how little is spoken of what he is to do in us. And yet all that he has done for us is in reference to what he is to do in us. Pride works frequently under a dense mask, and will often assume the garb of humility. And hence he must be invisible, for a spirit cannot be seen by the eye of man nor is there anything in this principle contradictory to reason or experience. Man may be considered as having a twofold origin, natural, which is common and the same to all, patronymic, which belongs to the various families of which the whole human race is composed. It is to be regretted that few persons who have arrived at any degree of eminence or fame have written memorials of themselves, at least such as have embraced their private as well as their public life. Few men can be said to have inimitable excellencies. Let us watch them in their progress from infancy to manhood and we shall soon be convinced that what they attained was the necessary consequence
parts of the line they pursued and the means they used. However, all gifts seem now to be absorbed in one and a man must be either a preacher or nothing. This perfection is the restoration of man to the state of holiness from which he fell, by creating him anew in Christ Jesus, and restoring to him that image and likeness of God which he has lost. It is the grace of God, that shows and condemns the sin that humbles us. If you go forward in the spirit of the original apostles and followers of Jesus Christ, trusting not in man but in the living God, he will enable you to pull down the strongholds of sin and Satan, and that work by which he is pleased will prosper in your hands. As preachers of the gospel of Jesus, do not expect worldly honors. These Jesus Christ neither took to himself, nor gave to his disciples. Matthew being a constant attendant on our Lord, his history is an account of what he saw and heard, and, being influenced by the Holy Spirit, his history is entitled to the utmost degree of credibility. As a revelation from God, they have stood the test of many ages, and as such maintain their ground against every species of enemy, and every mode of attack. Truth is mighty, and must prevail. But this Christ or Redeemer took not upon him the nature of angels, but the seed of Abraham, that is, human nature, that in the nature which sin he might make the expiation required. Let it ever be remembered that genuine faith in Christ will ever be productive of good works. For this faith worketh by love, as the Apostle says, and love to God always produces obedience to his holy laws. Remember that the word of God is not sent to particular persons, as if by name, and do not think you have no part in it, because you are not named there. Thanks for watching please subscribe and keep my